Good morning, good morning, our people. Good morning. Today is 9 11, 2021. Wow, I said my day today with confidence. <laughs> no shaking. Today is 9 11, 2021. Unfortunately, it's a memorial day for us here in America. And any good men or women that is, you know, concerned about other people, uh, we witness a horrific event that is unimaginable on that day, 21 years, 20 years ago, 20 years ago. So um, we will be at the little point observing a one minute silence just to acknowledge those human uh, destroyed on that unfaithful day. Uh, before we get started, my name is Mona Jim Saga and I am here in Houston, Texas. I will allow my sisters to do the same. Uh, good morning, viewers. Uh, thank you for tuning in. As usual, uh, as Sister Mona rightly said, uh, today is a Memorial Day in America. We remember those that were killed unjustly for reason of terrorism. And this is what we've been saying, that, that uh, terrorism of uh, this Al-Qaeda, uh, ISWAP, they have penetrated our area. They are there already. So we are also using today, in as much as we are, you know, today is a memorial day for those that died. We are also alerting the entire world to know that these people are everywhere. They have taken over our land. They are, going, they are about to do the exact same thing that they did in the U.S. So please, uh, thank you all for joining us. Uh, my name remains uh, Dr. Costa Nasike. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, sisters. Uh, thank you, our viewers. We appreciate you for coming here today. And please like, you know, as you're here now, please, because we know sometimes people forget. Just hit the button, like, because once you like it, those following you will say, what is she liking? What is she liking? Let's see. So no matter what Facebook will do with their statistics, sometimes one of our show, they show that we did it 1958 or 58 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> So they're playing games, but we cannot play them, you know, in that their games. You just hit the like button. Those on YouTube, subscribe and um, like us as well. And then share so that people on your, in your wall will see what is going on and come to learn. So my name again is Dr. Equi Simon Okube. I live in Lexington, Lexington Kentucky. Uh, I'll give us food for thought. We have been called to be a people of truth, to tell ourselves truth at all times, and to tell others the truth they have refused to listen to. The truth we discover, we set and make us free, all of us, you, I, all of us. The truth we discover, if somebody has been lying to you, if somebody has been manipulating you with lies, if somebody has been doing all sorts of things to you with lies. The day you will discover the truth, that is the day your freedom begins. So it is important for you to discover truth because the truth you discover will make you free. Therefore, we must not be like others. We must not do things because others are doing it. In this critical moment, it has become very essential that we always ask ourselves this one important question. What I'm doing and what I'm planning to do. Am I being truthful and honest to myself, to our children, to the unborn generations? You see, our redemption lies in our repentance as a people and in making up our minds to seek truths and honesty and running with it. Thank you very much. Thank you, sister. We are all about the truth. No wonder we go with the name called Daughters of Truth, D-O-T. Some people even call it DOT, D-O-T. We are here to ensure that the truth must be told. Our land must be restored. Our people must be restored. Our it ethics, our standards, our values, all of them must be restored. And that's what that's why God brought us here so many years ago. So we are not backing down. 
Like I said, today is Memorial Day here in America, 9-11. Sister Augusta, thank you so much for reminding our viewers as well as the rest of the world that, you know, we are in dire need of uh, uh, self-determination. As we are waiting, the same group of people that caused the mayhem 20 years ago, they are still at work, <laughs> well alive, even now, well equipped. <laughs> and they are coming, they are already in our way. And the worst part is that they have the ammunition to carry out their deadly uh, assaults. So the sooner we key into what Ninas is doing, the sooner uh, we get where we're going. So we're going to observe one minute silence. Let me pull up my timer uh, for 9-11. I also have some pictures here to show why that minute is gone. The minute starts now. All right. Thank you guys for that. Uh, as usual, we've sent out our promo sometime this week, so you must have seen it. And we're going to start off with our introduction. Um, if men and women, good men and women, of course, rise up, because we have the bad ones that are there funding bad things, funding bad behavior, you know, uh, glorifying, should I say, glorifying bad behavior and all kinds of stuff. We are calling on good men and women to key in because if you watch, if you sit there and watch and think somebody else is doing it for you, somebody else is providing the freedom, somebody else is gathering the people, then you must be mistaken. It's your responsibility as a good citizen to make sure that at every point in time you are uh, acutely aware of what is going on around you, especially if you have children that you intend to inherit this whatever that you're leaving for them. So thank you for joining us as usual. Our topic says uh, 76 UN General Assembly. Coming up next week, we are so, 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 so excited because uh, wonderful things are happening in the background. Some people, we that are part of it, we are feeling it in our, it's, it's all over us. Uh, but there are people doing the, the underground work to make sure that this, uh, UN Assembly turns out to be the best. So our topic says the 76th UN General Assembly presenting a unified front at the Million March, uh, Million Man Freedom March. Uh, I hope a lot of you have seen our posters. If you have not, we will be posting it again today uh, for everyone to see. It's also on our Facebook page. So help us to share. Some people are still at the man that is some group of people doing it. This is totally Nina's that is uh, pushing this uh, thing forward, as well as our other um, ally, those in ally territory. So uh, get ready for it. If you are in the USA, in Canada, wherever that you may find yourself and you are part of those seeking self-determination, part of those seeking for referendum, part of those wanting more for your people, this is a time to key in. We are going to be showing some phone numbers for uh, uh, people that are in charge of this so you can get further information uh, today. So in the 90s, the Convention for Democratic South Africa called uh, CODESA led the well-structured demonstration process that got the apartheid South Africa to present the democratic South Africa. On October 25th of 1991, 92 different organizations that were united against apartheid gathered in Durban to form a patriotic front. With the work that was done, the apartheid system in South Africa ended through a series of local and international negotiation between 1990 and 1993. 
Today, the ethno-religious genocide going on in Nigeria against indigenous peoples is worse than apartheid. Therefore, the real owners of the defunct federation that we call Nigeria, that has been hijacked by alien force, are finally fed up with the situation of things. We are, we've had it. We are sick of it. We are now set to lead the entire indigenous people into reworking that failed union of debt to a workable entity through a 21st democratic mechanism and process. You know, Nina's uh, has been on this. We've been setting the pace, pulling things in, in line for people to understand that we don't want an IKEA. There is a place that we are going through the recognized process as specified by UN. So we know what we're doing. Uh, and we are using this opportunity to call our brothers and sisters who still believe in, in, a, in a rogue franchise or rogue uh, whatever they are doing out there. I don't even have names for it anymore because it's, it's overwhelming. Online uh, freedom fighting. That is time for us to key into a tangible strategy that will get us where we're going. So as part of the ongoing sensitization and mobilization, NINAS, which is Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination is inviting everyone, everyone that considers themselves indigenous people that have even have ancestral space in that location called Nigeria to come and join the upcoming Million March, Million Man Freedom March. Uh, that will be in New York on September 14th through the 24th. So at the 76, can you guys believe 76? That's the 76th year of UN General Assembly. So show up in mass. This is a time for us to be serious about what we want. We can sit in our meetings and our rooms and gossip and do things online. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a time for us to come out and show what we are made of. You know, if we recall not too long ago when there was issue in uh, uh, Cuba, People literally left what they were doing and lay in the middle of the freeway to ensure that they're, you know, telling people like we don't like what's going on in our space. So it's our turn to do, to do the same. So whatever you find yourself, get to that location so we can get where we're going faster. So today we are going to have some highlights, and uh, we'll be presenting this in a um, question manner. We are hoping that this section today will be interactive. We don't want to be here doing all the talking while other people are watching um, so that you can be part of what we're doing. So we're going to be asking some questions today. Our goal, I don't know how I should do this. Our goal is for you to either come in person on the uh, platform to answer, or you can call us on the phone, or you can type. I know a lot of people will prefer to type in their answers, and uh, then we'll you know, come to consensus on what the answer should be in what we are doing. We want what we're doing this week, coming up and this, this coming week, to be streamlined. There's a process that needs to be followed. There's some code. Uh, we're going to play some video by uh, our uh, Lower Niger Sec uh, Secretary, Tony Nadi, for you guys to see the expectations during this uh, section. So sisters, please go ahead while I pull up this video. Yes, um, as Sister um, Muna rightly said, we want people to call in to ask questions to um, probably find out how to get to New York or better still ask the path that you have to play. We have to be united on this. We have the people from the, uh, the Alliance territory. You know, we've always talked about the Alliance territory that we have been together for a very, very long time. The, the Yoruba part, the Middle Belt, the Southeast and the South South merged together as one. So we are already together in this. So we are hoping that once you all get to New York, that it is gonna be like one front. Our primary objective is to let the United Nations know that we are tired of that contraction called Nigeria. Our number one objective is to let them know that we are set up for referendum nothing more nothing less yep our uh, main objective is to make uh, make them understand that is not just the Yoruba nation that wants to leave the Igbo nation also wants to leave the middle belters they also want to leave the Ijo, the shekiri the Anna, and Genfink, 
all departments want to leave because at the, the, the rate at which Nigeria is being governed right now does not give joy at all. You can see that the flanization is full blown. For those that are still thinking that, oh, I got the mind, it's going to get better, blah, blah, blah. It ain't getting better, it's even getting worse. <laughs> and the supposed president of the country does not give a damn about the people. So for how long are we going to, you know, continue to break marrow? So everybody, bring up your A game. Come to New York. And your grievance is laying down there. Referendum, that's it. Referendum, that is what we want. So, Sister Quid, do you have, or something like, have you put up the uh, video? Not yet. Okay, Sister Quid, do you have anything else to add to that? Yeah, because it's important that we have a unified front, like Sister um, Augusta um, Muna, you know, said earlier on. And uh, Sister Augusta tried to explain to us why it's important to have a unified front. Because they have three messages that from us. Who? What is going on? And what do you want? In simple terms, we don't want to confuse the international communities. We don't want you to go there dancing so that people are like, oh, they're dancing, then they're celebrating. <laughs> Let's join them to celebrate. We don't want you to carry band and be beating and be doing masquerade. Hey, yeah, <laughs> then you do parade. We are doing parade. No, this is not parade. We are being killed. There's serial genocide going on. People are being massacred. And we're not happy about it. And we want it to be stopped now. Not in 2023. Not in 2017. I mean, 2030. Today. We want it done now. So like this Augusta explained to us, who are we? We want to show that we have come together because the world wants to see coming together alliance. We have read in this show, we have done show for you, United Nations Declaration for Indigenous People's Rights. They specifically said in one of those 46 articles that the people seeking self-determination must come together because they don't want when you're getting your freedom, then your neighbor will start fighting you. The other one will fight. The other, they don't want war anymore. They don't want chaos. They don't want anarchy. They want to see you coming together and say, because you want to build a nation and you can't even come together. You want to form new entities. You come come together or you're worse than your enemy. You are saying that Fulanese are killing you and mass, they are mass, they are mass, they, there's massacre going on, there's genocide going on. And then you are killing your people, cutting their heads and putting on the table. You have become what you are trying to fight. Who will listen to you? That's why some people are surprised that some people are not listening to them. Because what you're presenting to the world does not make sense. It's confusing. You say they're killing you. You are killing your people. You say that they're wicked. You are wicked. You say that they, they, they are callous. You are more callous. You say that they, 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 they provide uh, poverty. That's what you're still doing. So you are mixing your language. They can't differentiate you and the person that is killing you. You are doing the same thing. And that's why we're telling our people that in this, uh, this, okay, so Simona is ready to we'll continue uh, after the video. You probably never heard about this genocide, but it is happening right now as you are watching this video. Let's talk about Nigeria. 17 Christians are killed every day in the first half of 2021. Nearly 3,500 Christians were killed in 2021, and the year is not over yet. There was a lot of dead bodies on the streets because they, they shot some, they slaughtered some. It was just all over the place on the floor. They were pulling girls out, raping them, beating them up. All our villages were born down. My family were born into ashes, eight of them, the four children. And my wife, and my mother, and my father. The violence against Christians in Nigeria is at its highest level, according to Open Doors organization. Close to 300 churches were shut down due to threats or attacks. And not only that, Nigeria is among the top 10 most dangerous countries for Christians. It leads the world in the number of kidnapped Christians. Just a few months ago, armed terrorists 
raided the Bethel Baptist High School and kidnapped 140 pupils, including young girls. This is the reality for Christians in Nigeria, as well as other groups like the Igbos. Nigerian pastor, Bologna Ibrahim, was shot dead on the altar of the church located inside the Maiden Village. It happened during a child dedication service at the church, and his only crime is converting from Islam to Christianity. Who is doing this? Well, terrorist groups like Boko Haram and jihadist Fulani radicals. Why are they doing this? Well, these terrorist groups want to convert people to Islam by force, and that's why Christians are the main target. And if they refuse, they will just kill them or make them sex slaves. They basically say, think like me or die. And Christians in Nigeria refuse to give up their faith. They would rather give up their lives first. This is insane. It has been happening for years. And the mainstream Western media remains largely silent while the Nigerian government is barely doing anything to stop this. Where is the UN? Where are the human rights organizations? Why are they silent when Christians are butchered in Africa? Are Africans less important? This is shameful. The world must wake up before it is too late. Let's stand up for the voiceless people in Africa who are experiencing this genocide right now. They deserve to be free. All right. We played this video last week and people are listening. As you can see, it's not one of us that actually made this video. These are Christians that are concerned about what is going on in our geographical space. So it's a matter of our people to stop pretending, to stop dancing, I go chop your money where the house is burning and pretending like nothing is happening. Or better yet, uh, they will go into midweek service and start praying and fasting. For us to do what is <laughs> doable, the work has been done. You just need to key in, stop the prayer, stop the dancing, stop the deceit, stop the only buying and selling as if you buy and sell yourself out of your poverty out of the hell that you find yourself into. If we get together and come against this, these people are nothing. I mean, they, they are, I don't even want to compare them to anything. I don't, there's nothing to compare them to. If we stand up together, these animals that call themselves Fulani or whatever they call it, they will run. They will run. The only advantage that they have against us is because we are confused. A lot of us are confused. That's why we cannot thank LNC and Nina's enough for the work that has been done on our behalf while we are busy doing all kinds of stuff. So um, I'm going to play the next video. Sister CEO have something to add while I pull up the next video. Yes, you see, you see what we are telling our people. There's an alien force in that geographical space called Nigeria. They have created blood and massacre, starting from the north to middle belt, proceeding to the south and then the entire world. They have created poverty because who creates, who builds companies when there is, when you are killing people? There's no investment that you will make. You can't make any investment, you can't build anything, you can't move forward. So Samuna is going to pray, uh, play another uh, video for us where we will see what these people that say they want to lead us, that power belongs to them. <laughs> what they are creating in that land so seeing is believing you don't need to go and fabricate what is going on you don't need propaganda you don't need lies the facts are on the table present the facts there's genocide nigeria has become the capital the poverty capital despite that nigeria is number six oil producing nation it has become the poverty capital of the world this is the video. This is Amuna. We are waiting. Once the video so that our people will see what we are saying. This is not a joke. This is reality on the table. These are beggars on the street. Have you seen the number? The people stealing all the oil from the south. This is what they are creating in the north. This is what they want to offer you. You that have allowed to live in for 50 years. This is what they have formed the northern part of the world. And this is what is coming down to the south. And then the whole world. This is what they have to offer you, my people. Are you going to sit on the fence and watch this happen? 
Are you going to sit on the fence and watch your children turn to beggars? Are you going to allow that to happen? Is it fair to allow this 1999 constitution to do this to us? Is it fair? Judge for yourself. Speak and tell us. Call in and tell us. Write there and tell us. Is this what you want for your children? Is this what you want for the generations unborn? That you're sitting down and doing nothing and going to church every Sunday to clap hands and, 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 and shake Bible in the air. What are you doing? Is this what God has called you to do? Is this all you can offer to your generation? We say we are people of fruits. We want to become a people of fruits. When you go home, while you're sleeping, think inside. Cheba, Cheba Uche. Think inside your mind. You're a politician. Think. You're a church leader. Think. You're a traditional leader. Think. Think. Be honest to yourself. Think and evaluate the question. And tell me that this is what you want to hand over to the next generation. Please go ahead, sister. Well, as we are speaking, this is what's going on in that uh, contraption called Nigeria. The uh, union of debt, like my brother will rightfully say. This is what's going on there. So even the TV broadcaster, the one that we say, <laughs> that opinion is not from us. It's from those people that just showed up on our show. <laughs> now they're speaking out. Because as you're speaking English, these people will come to your studio eh? and just do something live show that you've never imagined in your life. Because we warned you guys, this is no longer time to be speaking English. This is no longer time to be saying it's absurd, it's ludicrous. You know, it didn't happen in that part. Eh? My dear, all you have to do is to be talking about Nina's on that your station. The sooner you tell our people what's going on. And we want to thank the stations that are busy. Our brother told us the other day there was a station back home that was promoting, uh, uh, bringing down the 1999 constitution. So for those of those radio stations and the broadcasting system that are, you know, bold enough to teach our people the truth, we thank you. And then the pastors that are still dancing. There was one that I saw this morning, eh? The pastor, he gets him on Galilee, but you think he's already in heaven. And his fancy shoes, he was twisting it left and right inside his church. Where he should be pointing our people to the right destination for their freedom. They are busy dancing songs. My sister, is he not in heaven? He's in heaven now. The whole <laughs> foolish people have contributed all their money to Yes, them. yes. The politicians have given them all the money that's supposed to use to build roads, build hospitals, build schools, build infrastructures. They have contributed everything to them. Why are we to be dancing in Okoso? We have to dance in Okoso now. We might get to go. Oh, you may go. We need to eat. My God, you are doing good for yourself. You are doing it's good so it's time to dance. You are in heaven. Why my people die? Why the throats of the people are cut? You are dancing, Okoso. Several ways to be established in Kano State, Nigeria. According to reports, the governor of the state, Abdullahi Ganduji, allocated 100 hectares of land for the naval base on Wednesday. The chief of naval staff, Vice Admiral Awal Zaburu Gambo, paid a courtesy visit to the governor to thank him for the allocation and noted that the new base will contribute to showcase the effort of Nigerian Navy in keeping the nation as one. While some Nigerians reacting to the news have registered concerns as to why a naval base will be established in a hinterland of the nation. Um, I believe we could take a tweet before I come to you, um, Tundu, or we don't have that tweet. I'd love your comment on this topic. I mean, only in Nigeria will this happen. It's completely baffling. Nigerians must hear a plausible explanation for this. That right. is if one exists, because might as well at this point move the ports to Kano, if right. we're moving a naval base to Kano, because what is a naval base? It's supposed to be a seaport where the naval ships are kept when they're not at sea. I don't know if they need to be maintained or what have you, and just, you know, housed somewhere. In the UK, I'm very sure about the UK, the naval bases are in Portsmouth, Clyde, and Devonsport. America, I think, has maybe 10, 15, quite a few, but they're all in coastal areas. Right. I just don't remember exactly where. I know um, Maryland, um, Connecticut, I know a few, but in the UK, I'm 100% certain. It has to be by the sea because it's the Navy. You don't get and to I tell really them what to do, I really hate to sort of 
repeat or parrot speculation, but mm. this is exactly what some people mean. The more paranoid amongst us have been shouting themselves hoarse more about the colonization agenda, mm. rather than the government taking great lengths, going to great lengths to sort of douse that kind of talk, they fanned those flames by this kind of incomprehensible move, quite frankly. We do Go and dig up water in Kano now to form naval base all of a sudden? <laughs> or it's going to be built close to Rivarana? Or what is it? <laughs> you see places in the Niger Delta to site naval base, you can't site it there. I mean, it's really? all the way to, just like it never made sense to me why a refinery was built in Kaduna and we have. Yeah, you can hear the broadcaster. She said that the more paranoid amongst us are saying flanization, so we are paranoid. <laughs> Your own paranoia is coming at it. Will you do? <laughs> it will not look good for you, baby. Your English language ain't gonna do it. There's no difference between you and the Allah. What is it called? Allah, <laughs> when they yeah. come for you. Are you kidding me? The more paranoid amongst us are screaming flanization. Shame on you guys. Shame on you guys. I wonder what you guys will look like when they get their hands on you. Liars, liars. That's mm. why I say you have to speak truth. Ezio Kubundo. My people say truth will make you live. Truth will give you life. But on the other hand, lies will bring death. If you continue to say this type of lies, you are proceeding to death. I don't know what they are scared of, in all honesty, because at this stage, I mean, yeah, their salary, they are not no. living. They are salary. Huh? They want money. Their salary. They want their salary. their salary to continue to come. <laughs> So a little to this mouth, a, a little to a this mouth. A time will come. A time will come when they will not even have a studio. Okay. Let alone start talking. So is high time they spoke out. Is high time they came out now and started talking. They should start talking. They should not start hiding under the under the carpet. Like the other guy was saying, he did not know how pipes um, were drawn to Kaduna. Meanwhile, in 2017, a dry port was built in Kaduna. A dry port. If they were trying to decongest the Apapa port and the um, Apapa port and the Tinkan uh, Island. That's what they told you they're trying to do. That's not what exactly. they're trying to do. Because if exactly. that's what they're trying to do, they will open up the ports that we already have in, have in Southeast. Exactly. Have those ports, they close them down. They so if that's down. what they're trying to do, they will open those ones up, but that's not what they're they, trying to do. They close down Calabar ports, close down Worry ports, close down the one in Orne is practically for, uh, what is this guy's name? Um, Kedapa, um, former vice president, what is his name? Uh, uh, Abdul Salam. Abdul Abubak, uh, no, Atiku. That one is just for him and his business alone. They shut down every port and they built a dry port in Kaduna. Now they are trying to build a sea base in Kano. Kano that does not have water. How are they going to even dig the water? Where are they going to borrow water from to be able to, you know, sustain this kind of nonsense? They don't need water, my dear. What they need is cash, cash flow. Okay, how would they ship? Where would they drop their ship now? Where would they okay, anchor let me their ship? How. Let me tell you how because they have plans. <laughs> Somebody said this in one platform. He said there's no access to the sea. I say you are lying. You are the obstacle that is giving that is stopping the access to the sea. So when they bulldoze you, kill you off, and clear you, you are the stones and obstacle. There will be access to the sea. They okay. have to. That's why they are clean off everybody. They to say the same that the grazing route that they want to reestablish the grazing route. What are they doing? They are killing people that are existing on their so-called grazing route. Killing them off to create the grazing route. So when they finish building parts in the Kaduna and the North and building naval base, they will kill off all the people that are on the road to the sea. Kill them off. Uh, our brother said that they will do borehole. Don't worry, borehole. <laughs> <laughs> I told you all they need is cash flow and they will make yes. it happen. <laughs> <laughs> they know what they're doing. These people are not stupid like we thought. And that's the greatest thing that happened to Ndibu, especially. Because they keep calling them stupid people. How can you call somebody that is busy marginalizing you and killing you a stupid person? Make, make you policies against, against, against you every day. I get away with it. I get away with it. I 
I'm quoting the part of the constitution that makes him get away with it. And you, you are still speaking of a dog to Why are you debating them? I can't imagine uh, it. Why are you adorating people that you can see they have their agenda on the table, their strategy, and they're executing it one by one, one by one? If you want to sit at home from now to next September, they are executing <laughs> everything. Your sit at home will not do anything to them. If you sit at home, you create <laughs> the, 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 home. They sit at home, they had in no worry. Did the 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 uh carcass not come to worry to come and institute a got no, a got a got a big commission though, ordinary got a press the get to commission in over worry. got the like uh the tiger got that got my sister they can commit if they can even commission a heap of sand they can come and do anything they want to do and you know what if you are standing on the streets you will delay them if they wanted to go from airport to where they are going it will take maybe two hours but if you sit at home the journey will be 20 minutes <laughs> they will finish this so you are helping them. Please go in and sit at home. Don't you ever come out of your homes again. Stay inside your home all the days of your life. You hear? Amen. Mm -hmm. Stay inside. Let poverty come and deal with you inside at your home. Hey. All home. right. So we have our first question. Our number, as usual, is plus one seven seven four. 3380942. You can call in for your answers. I'm going to, I think already I pinned the right. Did I pin the um link? Yes, I already pinned the link. So you can use the link to jump in, or you can call uh, and give because us your something answer. is blocking the rest of the question. The um the thing that was pinned from oh, our the thing that is pinned that is blocking it. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's blocking some section of the question. Uh, okay, let me see if I can blow it up. Um, shish. Maybe not to so desire. Okay, yeah, I can do this. Let's see. Something is blocking it. I think is the comment. So let me just take that off. Um, I know somebody is ready to answer that question that quick. <laughs> they will dig a ball hole. Uh, said something you know about the constitution it said that they need to bring down the constitution and do a new one before the election of nigeria there's a little twist to what you're saying which will tell you that there is no nigeria so it's not just to remove the constitution and bring a new one you need to first of all determine who is a nigerian because right now we are infiltrated there's foreign alien force foreign entities in the land so you don't know who is who. So the first point of call will be determ to determine who is a Nigerian and who still wants to be a Nigerian before you go into constitution making. So you're pulling out this one, which is not the people's constitution, is a military decree, is a military document that needs to go down for sure. We are agreeing that it has to go down. But the next step is to determine who are the people that will make the constitution because the constitution is made by the constituents of a nation. So you have to determine who are the constituents of that nation. That is where referendum comes in. And we say the referendums of the ethnic nationalities so that they will say, I want to be part of Nigeria or I don't want to be part of Nigeria. So those that say, yes, they want to be part of Nigeria, we go on to make their own constitutions. Those that say they don't want to be part of Nigeria, we go on to do what they want to do with their lives. Chatter of relationships, all these things will be done. So it's a process. And we'll come here every Saturday to explain to us the process so that you'll be part of it because it's the people's power. Sovereignty belongs to the people. Power belongs to the people. Thank you. Yamuna, please go ahead. Thank you, my sister. Um, actually, this, this thing sort of messed up because of the uh, uh, blowout. Uh, so there are a couple of other questions under this. So uh, the question number one here says, why is it important to present a unified front and speak a common language to the international community? So if anyone can come up or call in and tell us, you know, why we have to do this. It may seem so simple to some other people and to others, it may be a little bit complex. Uh, so let us know. You can um type it in if you are not bold enough to come in i don't know by now you guys know you know you guys should know that we don't bite we are your beautiful sisters we don't have as a vampire so when we call for we ask for people to come on the show everybody just sit back and watch 
<laughs> and uh, as long as you come with your real name, you don't really have to show your videos, you know, so that if you're in your bedroom relaxing in your bed, I understand it's Saturday morning, you just don't want to do anything fancy to come on air, but at least come in and give us your um, answers to this. Um, so because I'm on this screen, I'm not able to see the answers on um, posted. So sisters, you all can look for it. I can't see while I'm on this humongous screen here. Uh, if there's any answers posted, I mean, push your yeah, answers posted. Why is it important to present a unified front and speak a common language to the international community? Why is that important? Because some people, as we are talking right now, some people are saying, oh, we want this one, we want that one. And we're telling you that when you come together, you know, we're not powerful for like they would say in Igbo, Igbo, Igbo language, it will make a huge impact very big impact. Sisters, are you all seeing the answers? Hello? Hello? Uh oh Hello, sisters? No, not yet. Oh, I can hear you. We're mute. Yes, we're checking out. <laughs> oh, okay, did I turn myself <laughs> off? Okay. Not yet. Okay, so let's move on. Sisters, let's give them the answers to that and move on to the next one if they don't have answer for us. So like we have given some of the answers in the beginning, we said we don't want to confuse the international communities. You know, they have a short span of attention. <laughs> Am I coming out? If you have talked to some of them, once you pass two, three minutes, they zoom off. <laughs> they don't know what else you're saying. Like. What are you talking about? They easily get confused. So we do not want to get them confused. You know, some of these things we are going through. Some of them, if they go through it, they won't even be alive anymore. That is how fragile they are. So we don't want to confuse them with um, so many things. Some people say, oh, is this one? This one say, oh, this. They say, which one are you saying? So it's possible to put, and then we want to show them that we are speaking in one voice. That we have come together like we told you when codesa was formed we mentioned codesa codesa which is Conve convention for a democratic south africa they came together they had up to 90 um agitating groups in south africa they all agreed that apartheid constitution apartheid was bad for south africa they had one thing they could agree on no matter how they, what other things they thought was the solution, they, they agreed that apartheid must go down in South Africa. So they united in that spirit and formed what we call CODESA, Convention for a Democratic South Africa. And then the process began. Then the transition began. Then the referendums and everything they did. So we have to agree on the problem. Then we start talking about solution. Then we look at the solutions and look at superior arguments. So we know that many people have many views, many things going on. Oh, is this one? They're killing us. They're burning us. But we're saying we have to agree on one thing, that there's genocide going on in Nigeria and they're coming to kill us. They're killing us and they're about to kill all of us. So we need to come together as the owners of Nigeria. That's what we call them. Nigeria Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination. All the aggrieved entities in Nigeria, all the groups, churches, whatever you call your name, you are agreeing that you are being marginalized, you are being killed, this is happening to you, you are not happy with what is going on, you are not no job for your children, all those things, we bring them together and come and present one front which is that Nigeria is against us. So it is important for us to say that in one voice, speaking to the international communities, that we are not confused. We know what is happening to us and we know how to get the solution. We are coming to speak to them to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. So it is important for us to present a unified front to show that we have formed an alliance and we are all against the evil coming to us. I don't know if somebody wants to add anything. Thank you. Yeah, uh, what I 
add to what Sister Ephi said right now is that uh, we know that a lot of people, especially those from the Yoruba community, they are already planning uh, for their Yoruba nation. And we're saying that everybody has to come up with one voice. If you go there and you start shouting Yoruba nation, then we have uh, some people shouting Biafra, others shouting, there are several flags flying up and down. As a sister, if you rightly said, the Igbo man has, uh, you know, uh, they say fish has three seconds brain retention. I think Igbo man's own is like that, if not worse. They don't, they can't mingle, they can't mix and match. If it is A, it's A, they can't mix and match. So we are hoping that uh, the, the outfit for, for, for the event is going to be a, a black top, a black top on whatever it is you're wearing is to show the story so that is that they are cleaning our people and the one voice we're talking about is that we are going there to get the sovereignty back to the owners of the land we want referendum that's just the number one thing is the paramount thing that we're going out there for so i don't want us getting confused some people go to one corner and start doing Yoruba nation of course it's Yoruba nation that we want also, people will go and start being biafra we we, we have told you why biafra is not sustainable but we don't want that confusion. It is all about Ninas. We are all under the umbrella of Ninas. By the time they get the details about what we want, then we can now go to our different, you know, our different um, territory, our different um, blocks, what blocks, is it called? blocks. Regions. Yes. Our different regions and start from there. So one front, one voice, common language that we are no longer doing Nigeria. That's what we need to go out there to tell them. So I just want everybody to be, you know, to pay uh, attention to, to what we are saying. It's important we do one word, one language. That is what the Oibo man wants to hear. And it's not as if the Oibo man is the person that will give us freedom. We just want to make this thing known to them that, hey, Afghanistan has been taken over. Nigeria is next. So, and they know that if Nigeria is next, that the calamity would surpass the one of Afghanistan. We are talking about multi-ethnic nationalities in one country. We are talking about 200 million people. So they know this, and they are scared to their, to their pants that if anything happens with Nigeria, remember when the uh, UN uh, repertoire came down to um, Nigeria? She said that uh, the, the constitution is the pressure cooker of injustice. So that should still be resonating to their ears. So for those of us that were saying, one front, one voice, one language. Let it be what we will speak on that day, so that we can get this thing settled out as soon as possible. Let us not go there and start confusing one another. Thank you. Thank you, sis. I'm trying to pull up the uh, next question. All right. So, how can we encourage and persuade? various governors and leaders to enforce the ban on open grazing in the entire South and Middle Belt. This should be an easy one. We've talked about this over and over again. If you are a follower of uh, DOT, Daughters of Truth, you will know the answer to this. So it's unfortunate while I'm on this screen, I'm not able to see the response. So sisters, I'm counting on you guys to uh, read those things out and give our audience credit for the answers. And like again, you can still call in it's plus one seven seven four three three eight zero nine four two to give us your contributions if you want. Uh, the phone number can be called in as a WhatsApp or as a phone number. Uh, so please, let's see what are, what uh, answers are you getting on the screen, sisters? How can we encourage and persuade? Our various governors and leaders to enforce the ban on open grazing in the entire South and the Middle Belt. They want to do the right thing. I think if they if they really feel like the people is behind them for sure, and not the Fulanese, you know, a lot of them are they are having rethink. You do think they are sleeping at night <laughs> because they know very soon they, their neck will be hanging on the other side of the living room and their bodies on the, on the outside. So they want to do better. So how can we encourage them to get these things done? You know, stop wasting your time. And if your pastor or your church leader is not preaching about this right now, you are definitely at the wrong location. Sorry. Go can ahead. I give some answers? For... Yes. 
the op the previous um question please before this one because we missed some can i read them out yes okay so um pastor bidi chris adwaka said the un we want to see a unified indigenous nationalities mm -hmm. presenting a common front mm -hmm. then uh, sydney obada said unified fronts we make us impregnable it will convince others strongly other others strongly to be okay others strongly to be a part of us and help us truly overcome it's still giving they say it will frustrate the enemies and make them give up and throw in the towel he's giving more points can, can i should i continue to read he said it yes. will enhance strong trust and believe that the outside outside world will be willing to work and work with us and build strong relationships that will enhance growth and business that will enhance both wow that's a good one yeah it, 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 it's i'm still checking to see if there's okay if there's if there's more i would i'll, I'll read them okay. out for us so, so do please, we have answer for number two how can we encourage and persuade various governors and leaders to enforce the ban you know if you have the answer sis and see if there's any answer like i said i'm on um full um slideshow so i'm not able to see the other screen I've not seen anyone, and it's when it comes up. I don't. I, there might be a delay between the time they time it, type it, and the time we see it. So, but I've not seen any yet. Let me see. Somebody um, is writing something. Pastor B D. The good thing about what we are doing is that we are not doing anything evil. We are not asking for people to give us for something that does not belong to us. We are asking for something that rightfully belongs to us. So you say no brand. Then on top of that, we are using strategy recognized by the whole world, right? So just point us alone puts us at the top stage in terms of someone or movement getting ready to uh, uh, to ensure that people get their self determination. And that's what we're asking our people, especially those of us in Lower Niger, that are still confused and crying on air and pulling their hair out and all this. It's not necessary. Even our uh, profess, uh, professor, I came to hear to you guys the other day, you don't have to die for your freedom. You know, you're hearing it for Papa, from Papa. You don't have to die for your freedom. The work has been done, just key in. How can then Christ die for you on the cross? Then you go and start using a cross to go and hang yourself. Does that even make sense? All right, sisters, anything else? Yeah, so Pastor Obidi Chris Aduaka said, um, the 1978 Land Use Act vests the ownership of the land on the governors. Mm -hmm. So it's not like the governors are looking for authority to do what they're going to do. The authority is already for them. Mm -hmm. He went on to say, they should enact laws banning open grazing. He said, even the Bible forbids it. Exodus 22, verse 5. Thank you, Pastor Obidi. Mm -hmm. you we know, want our people to be part of this thinking process. Because what we are doing is not like something you picked up from the forest. It's common sense. Even with that degree, you know. In an evil, people do not allow cow, allow cow and uh, goat to go around eating people. Never, never, never. It's, our, it's abomination in the land I come from. So you don't need a degree to know what is true. Then uh, our brother Sidney Obada said, by standing with them in the decision they are taking. So now he's talking to the people because power belongs to the people. The governors are working for you. So if they are taking a decision that is the right, it is left for you, the people, to support them in that decision. That will give them encouragement. That will give them motivation. That will persuade them to do more. But if they are taking left, you're talking right, you're looking for how to kill them. If they will lose, they will concentrate on trying to protect their lives first because you're distracting them. This is why we're telling our boys that are looking for how to kill people. Stop this. You're distracting the work. This work is a constructive work. It's a, a process, like a work that you have to follow due process. As you are moving, you're, you're, there's constant dialogue. People are talking and hearing what to do. So Sydney said, by standing with the governors, that you're helping them, you know, by make, helping them to uh, in the decision they're making, you encourage them. He then says, speaking out as well as they are doing. 
discussing and debating in support with their band. So the radio people doing things, writing things as they ban it. You are saying it in radio everywhere, supporting it, discussing it, blowing it up the more. Don't go and leave it and start discussing about your criminal leader that went to prison where he belongs. You are distracting this job. The work is going on. Stay focused. Stay focused on your freedom. Not the freedom of, I don't know. So, I, should I go ahead to read again? There's something else he wrote. He said, our communities and villages coming on road and TVs, social media to declare that we support them. You see, these are simple things you can do. Is this not sim more simple than going to cut off the head of uh, PAs and uh, SAs and all the people? Then tomorrow, because you know, internet does not forget. Your videos that you're making where you're killing these people, they are there. Anybody can pick them up tomorrow and look for you and get you out. Now, these things we are telling you to do are very simple things. The governors have banned. You are now on the radio and TV and social media discussing it, supporting it, and telling them to do more. Our brother wrote another thing. He said, putting our support on print, on print media, such as newspapers. You see, he's answering all the questions, and we want more people to answer. Call in to be part of this discussion. Type, we will read it out. How can we encourage and persuade our various governors to do the right thing? This is the right thing. How can we encourage them? Mm -hmm. Now they have put the ban. How will they enforce it? How will they? Because it's one thing to say, this is the ban. I ban open grazing. <laughs> How are you not going to enforce your ban? An entire wow. south and middle belt. How are you going to enforce it? So tell our people should tell us, how do you think they should enforce it? Because it's one thing to ban it, it's another thing to enforce it and make sure that it's working. Right. So this is a conversation starter, right? It's like now that we are exposing ourselves to the truth that we want to do the right thing. Because for many years, we we were sleeping. My brother yesterday was funny. He said, I know one and they will push it with Tondon engine number one. And then the ASIP is not enough. We geared it up to engine number 100. So now that we are awake and we know what is happening, what are we doing on our individual basis collectively to ensure that our leaders understand these are the things that they're expected to do and we are right behind them? Because they are tired. If you think they are not tired of Nigeria, don't let their news. Uh, uh, this thing deceive you. They are worn out. And, you know, unfortunately for these current governors, the, the governors used to be there and relax, come to vacation in America with their en envoy and buy the latest houses and cars and then hide their ceremonies and even ship their brothers and sisters whatever, whichever country they want all over the world. And life is good. But these current governors, they have highly allowed they have never seen a thing like this. You know, the whole everything going on in our land, the, the insecurities, the killing, the everything going on is, is beyond them. They, they didn't even come there to govern. No. They came there to collect their own money like the other previous ones did. All of a sudden now, every day, Fulanese will send them a message. So they're under, <laughs> laughing. they're under pressure cooker right now as we are speaking. So how can we encourage them? Sydney, thank you so much. The answers that she gave are quite encouraging. Yes, those are some of the things that we can do to assist our governors to do the right thing as well as our leaders. You know, let, I know we know they have done wrong. It's time for us to call them now in and say, hey, we want you to continue this transitional change uh, uh, period. We were behind you. Instead of gossiping behind, give them your support and say, do the right thing so we can support you. Do the right thing so we can support you. They are tired. They are so tired. They don't know what to do. Okay, we are going to go ahead and go to question number three. How can indigenous peoples take charge of their own ancestral space or spaces? Because we have left a lot of vacuum. That's why the Fulanese, you know, they created the whole thing from day one. Chased us off out of, out of our land. You made space for them. They are the policy makers, and then they use policies. Even when we are think, oh, let's go and leave and come back and bring production and bring industries, they will create policies that will not allow you to do any of those things. 
sorry, I, I wanted to add our own response to the question, this number two question. Okay. You no, know, just read what they said. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, please pull it up again so that I'll be sure what yes, they are responding. Yes. Um, because it's good for us to know what we're expected to do and then we can encourage them to do it. So how can we encourage and persuade the governors um, to enforce the ban? Okay, now, that ban, the people that you are banning are coming with um, AK-47. Now you want to ban them. Do you think they will just come and sit down and say you have banned them? You need to enforce it by arming your people because you are the chief um, security officer of your state. Mm -hmm. We had one of the governors <laughs> denying, say, I have never formed any group. I have never formed any arm. <laughs> I'm like, did I clean your people? You are saying, you are here coming to deny that you have never armed anyone. What is your job as chief security officer? Are you going to continue to cry as your people are crying? And this is the beauty of Constitutional Force Major. We are telling our people that that Constitutional Force Major that happened on the 16th of December 2020 mm -hmm. has enforced, empowered the governors of all the states in the Alliance territory to arm themselves against the invading powers, against the alien forces, against those killing their people. It is your responsibility. So people, you will encourage them to enforce it by accepting the proclamation of 16th December 2020. They have to endorse that proclamation and then act on it by physically. This is not by speaking in tongues. <laughs> the people that are coming to kill the people in the states are not coming with speaking in tongues. They are coming with physical ammunition. So you have to start putting this together in your states. It is your right to protect your people. Stop waiting for the presidency. Presidency is not somebody. You say, I wrote to the presidency. I called the presidency. They switch off the phone. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why would they switch off the yeah. phone? We're, We're telling you that the Nigerian government has been taken over by an, an alien force, the Fulani force for Fulanization. So all the state tools have been taken over. Who are you calling to protect your people? It is your responsibility as a governor to protect the people of your state. You are the executive security officer. You are the security officer of your state. That is your job. You know how to go and call military against uh, those boys that were miscreants that were in Southeast. That's the same way you will think it out. Plan it. You can do it. We're encouraging you. We're telling you that you can do it. We have given you the legal backing. That legal backing, those that are listening, because we've, we discovered something recently, that this show that we're doing, some people are blocking their governors from hearing what Nina's is doing. Some PAs around the governors, some people working with the governors are blocking the governors from what the people are saying and confusing the governors. So it's your responsibility, you listening to us, because that's why we say activation of people's power. Look for your governor, look for them to tell them, are you aware of what they're saying? Did you hear what is going on? And then begin to explain to them that power has been restored to them to be able to protect their people. They don't know. Some of them don't know. They're so confused, like Sister Muna said. They're so confused. So you need to empower them. You need to enlighten your governors. Yes. They don't know. You need to teach them. As you come here to listen to us and you're learning and as you share, please go and teach your governors. Then our brother wrote something, Pastor um, Obid. He said, we need to mobilize vigilante and indieses to be active and even arm them. Who do not chase, uh, you, you do not chase AK-47 wedding, uh, okay, AK-47 wedding um, um, Every man. Man with catapults. Our brother has said it all. Some people are coming to <laughs> AK-47, you don't bring catapults. And, get, and this is part of the thing that we, as daughters of truth, 
When we remember Nam de Kanu, we said, this man did evil to my people. Our con people contributed money for this evil day. In US, for instance, we are contributing not less than $10,000 every month and sending it to Germany. People in at home, in homeland, they were contributing 21 million naira every month. There are records. This is not something that we are guessing. Record is on the floor. Send it to Germany for a day like this. What did the Berima do it? That's why some of, him, of us call him a Berima. If you see people that we are executive officers in IPOB, they call him a Berima, the truthful ones. He gathered this whole money, used it to buy properties everywhere, keeping women here and there. Yes, it's his private life. But you don't live your private life with our money that we contributed so that we can use to save ourselves on a rainy day. And when the rainy day came, this man had the air country to tell my people to use stick and stone to face AK-47 people. <laughs> for them that uh, if they are passing, that they should throw uh, kerosene inside bottle into their car and then they will run away. Then they will carry their gun. What of the war we contributed for? Recently, we heard that they wired some $20,000 to Kenya, to him, while he was in Kenya. You see how this guy knocks the head of our people? Put our heads together. We are so confused. We don't know our right from our left. Everybody is so confused. He will tell this person, why are this amount to me? The other person will not know. DOS will not know what this person did. This person will not know what DOS did. Just like Fulanese. Divide and conquer. While we are busy fighting ourselves, why my dear will be busy gallivanting and buying exotic cars, exotic clothes, choice women, doing all the things. And then after this, you tell me I should keep quiet. Then you're not a truthful person. You are not a truthful person. My people are dying. And you say I should keep quiet. You need to be, you need to be baptized <laughs> in truth, <laughs> in water of truth. Sorry, is somebody reading what Sydney wrote? Yes. Sydney says, uh, said we are so we ourselves should be watchmen of our in our territories. We should take note of every boundaries around our locations, take note of those who are living our circles. That's a good one. What they do, what they are involved in, and who they are linked, who are they linked to them? It must be our responsibilities to take action and work with each other to protect and look out for each other. And then he went further to say that we need to build boundaries, fence, help, and equip the youth to stand and watch. My dear, he may not even work, work in our area because somebody in his uh, franchise made sure that our youth were buried in mass graves everywhere. We don't even know how many is still in the uh, mortuary. If you recall one of our shows here, we told you guys how one of the uh, students, medical students, uh, uh, was given a cadaver for uh, pathology and he found that it was one of his friends. So do we even have youth left? Because somebody made sure, because they are making money and wearing fancy outfit, they made sure that our boys were picked up and killed, our youths We are messed up and killed as if they are nobody. So we are going to proceed with question number three. Again, the phone number is there, plus one seven seven four three three eight zero nine four two. Uh, please don't forget to like, follow, share. Please do all this. I know we are not good because other people, before they even begin the show, they say, please don't rob me of my time or whatever. We are not We're not trying to make money off of it. We just want our people to be getting this information so that when we will come on air, even if they block you on Facebook, you'll be able to, because we, Facebook, oh, let me not say anything. I'm not turning this thing off. The YouTube, <laughs> you know, YouTube, you should be able to sign up at least on Twitter so that whenever we come on air, what it does is to at least send you a message. Uh, and that's why we are working on those three platforms so that by the time you get away from Facebook, you can get some from YouTube and you can get some from Twitter. Uh, you know that they don't want this message to go out. That's why when we do a show uh, in the, in uh, May, they will say that we did it for one years ago and only three people watched <laughs> <laughs> they will say that we did a show 51 years ago we weren't even here that long ago and only three people viewed it so you guys know what's up you know so help us to share this information help us to like help us to follow um help us to what is this that we say like share and uh, follow subscribe. right 
subscribe there you go that's the big one subscribe yes please uh don't forget to do that okay don't worry we don't we don't we are not making any money off of this and even if we do we use it for our freedom you know to get where we're going but that's not why we're asking you guys to follow so please help us to to follow and share and all that stuff so i'm gonna pull up the other stuff so that goes you're laughing you want to say something you you say we're not making money out of it <laughs> Uh, I mean, for our freedom, we, we have put in more than, you know, we can even, you know, uh, we, ha we, have put, we have put in time, money, efforts. We have put in a lot in this. So for those that are thinking that we are one of those equity set up, please, please, no, 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 don't, don't even go there. If you, are, if you want your freedom so badly, you need to get onto the Nina's platform. Yes, there's a button to donate there because the 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 uh, um, thing that will be happening soon. The sorry, excuse me. The the one million man match that will be happening soon. A lot of people have contributed their personal money into this effort. Yep, yep. A lot of people, even some people went as far as getting the hotels where people would you know merge to you know what have a room to themselves and all that. They 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 talked so far so far in trying to make this thing work. So these are people's effort. These are people's time. People's time. Time you would use to probably have an extra hour to make money at your job. You are using it, investing it in your freedom. So please, our people, don't get it twisted at all. We need everybody on board. All hands on deck. Please. Hmm. Don't get Pastor, it twisted. Pastor Bidi has done it again. Pastor Bidi said, this is the kind of pastor that we need in our land. All these I know, pastors, right? <laughs> you know, Pastor Bidi, we are making you the chief pastor of all pastors. <laughs> Take over the church. <laughs> Take over the churches in that land and teach them the right way to go. He said mass enlargement through the church, town unions, mass media, many years of enslavement have done so much damage to our people's psyche. Yep. Many do not know their rights again. So we know. I know, but that's why they tend to gather at the church. That's why we say let's catch them there because how will church uh, go us? Let's capture them there in the church and give them the right information. So anyone that knows how to get this job done in a church, in a town union, those of you getting together to be building your little hospitals in your village that the Fulanese are about to take over, <laughs> you're wasting your time. Key into what we are doing. And for those that have given to us the, uh, this course, we bless you. We thank you. We honor you. Because uh, a lot of us are, you know, doing all that we can we are tightening our belts to make sure that this thing comes to fruition because all oh, somebody got well we're here enjoying in america somebody paid for it and made it this good so that we can come and benefit for it so we don't mind doing that because somebody has already done it for us you know but if you really want this to help happen um we are going to be posting the page where you can go and donate if you have ten dollars two dollars ten naira hundred then whatever that you have put it in there so that at the end of the day and save your receipt. You can say, my dear, look, I participated in this. I, you know, I, I, I took part in, in getting this freedom done. So I am going to pull up the, um, the next video, as a matter of fact. Actually, let me finish up these questions, and then we'll go to the next video. So we have to be a little bit fast because we are running out of time um, for the video. All right, so our top person says, how can indigenous people take charge of their ancestral space? Um, any answers to that, sisters, help me out. I cannot I see. thought Pastor had already answered how we would take care of our special ancestral space by the mass mobilization that he talked about. Yes, he did. Yeah. Um, mass I mobilization think. is very, very crucial. You are the owner of the land for crying out loud. So why wouldn't you be part of getting the freedom for yourself and for your, uh, for your future? For your own ancestral space, for your own community. So mass mobilization is the key. Right. Okay. Any other answers? You think we want to add something so we can move to the next one? I have some more videos. Yeah, share. let's move to the next one, please. Okay. Okay. How do we avoid anarchy and chaos into the hands of different warlords in various regions? Because that's what's going to happen. If we don't curtail this or clip these wings of terrorists. 
flying all over our land, pretending to be bringing us freedom. There are going to be problems, so big, big ones waiting for us. So how do we avoid all of this? And uh, while our leaders, uh, I don't know what to call them, I don't know who they're leading anymore, while they're saying they are watching, this so-called rogue franchise has taken over um, our land and be doing all kinds of stuff. But the good news is that we still have time to get some things done. Go ahead, sisters. The, the governors are in cahoots with the franchise uh, owners. They are in cahoots with them because they need all this noise once in a while to get them election, to get them elected or selected. So they are in terrible cahoot with these guys. They know where they are. They know who they are. They know that what they are doing does not benefit their communities, but they would allow it to just, you know, go. You know? Like, how would somebody come and tell the entire Eastern region not to go out for to their businesses, to stay at home? And he has kept on this thing and made it a every Monday, Monday activity. People are not fearful for their lives. People are no longer even fearful of the Fulanese, even though the Fulanese are the people killing us. They are not fearful of coming out because one of their so-called so brothers is telling them not to go out and enforcing it and killing and destroying businesses. So all these rogue franchises, when it's time for you all to close shop, you will be closing shop with the, with the, with the, with the, with the political parties. You are going to close these those shops with the political parties, and the time is now. The time is here for you all to do that. Awesome. This message is coming from the Secretariat of uh, Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Service and Nation, NINAS, as we prepare for our march uh, to the United Nations uh, headquarters at the 76th session of the UN General Assembly happening in New York. September 14, 15, and beyond, all the way to the end. Uh, this is uh, to inform everybody concerned that the invitation to the event, the invitation to the to the Freedom March, is open to all persons from the Alliance territory, that is the South and the Middle Belt, wherever they may be in the U.S., Canada, wherever. They are in India and beyond. It's also open to all the organizations, uh, social cultural organizations uh, of uh, you know uh, this alliance uh, territory, wherever they may be. It's open to all of those who are in one form of self determination agitation or the other. The ones who want the uh, old republic, the ones who want the Afro republic. Everybody can come, but there is is there is you know an objective that has to be met. It is the it is the collection of all of us that is coming to talk to the global community as Ninas, and therefore we will not have we will do whatever we can uh, to avoid confusing our message or conflicting our message. Everybody can will have to come as Ninas, and so that our demand can be only one thing before them: referendum rejecting the constitution that have been imposed on us. I would think that uh, if we listen to the organizers more closely, we can present a common front because that is what those who can help us require of us at this time. All other things can be fixed later. All of us against the people who are tormenting us so that they can draw one line for us. We, we come with every other thing later. Okay, you've heard from my brother. Go ahead, sisters. Let me pull up the other video. Are we through with the questions, Skamuna? Yes. Okay. Well, the video, yeah. I, you didn't see the video I just played? Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. I'm like, okay, yes. Okay. I thought that probably we have like a part two of the questions. That's yeah, there, there's another part, you know, but I wanted to play this video for Tony. Because okay. The next, yeah, PowerPoint will sort of address the expectations and the things about yes. the upcoming medium man match. Yes, let's do that. Somebody wrote something, our brother said, we must expose them and never cover them up, you know, um, those distracting the work that we're doing. Because some people say, no, don't speak, don't talk. No, if you don't, that's not our culture even. In our culture, when there are evil going on, we expose them. The essence of doing that is to discourage others from joining in doing that evil. So, and we are telling our people that we are people of truth. 
we must go back to who we used to be. We are not people that cover evil. That's not who we are. We don't see evil going on because the thing about evil is that when you cover evil, it will incubate, grow big, and then multiply and give birth. So you see, you're not doing yourself any good by covering evil. No matter where the evil is, the right attitude to evil is to uncover it. One, when you cover it, that evil will stop growing. And then, or because other people will know that this thing is evil and they will not go into it. So that's why we're telling our people, especially those that have been in these groups and saw the things that happened firsthand, how they killed our people, how, what they did, they buried our people alive. It's occultic. They're gangsters. They did all these things. So it's important for us to stand up and say no to all evil. Do not shy away from speaking it out. Those that are calling us sometimes, they will call and say, please, now let's be united. Please, if you want to be united, it has to be un unity around truth. If you're not ready to speak truth, please don't call me without that of your unity because I will not be part of it. I do not unite lies and truth together. The Bible said that everything will be read. So if you're ready for unity, first of all, embrace truth and honesty. Repent from your evil ways. Repent from the thing that the evil that you have sponsored in our land. Because like we said last week, there is no terrorist group that doesn't have a sponsoring group. Every terrorist group has somebody sponsoring them for their selfish gains. So if you want evil to stop in our land, you must first of all stop sponsoring evil in our land. Stop supporting it. Speak out against it. And then the evil will die a natural death so that we can go where we're going. So I'm on, which one are we playing? Is there another video? No, I'm pulling up the PowerPoint. Okay. So there's um the, for the upcoming um million man match. We are going to that that is coming up on uh 20. Okay, do you have it in the PowerPoint so that I don't bother going through? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, that is coming up between 14th and 28th of September. This is our thing, the people's program. You are not going to do it for another person. You're going to do it for yourself. So there's what we call appropriate language for that million match. You don't just go there and carry any placard or any um, flag like Sister Augusta has said before. There is an expectation for that event. It's a well-planned event. We got permits. They got permit from New York City, New York uh, 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 um, government. So, and there are specifications of, about what we should do and what we want to do in the permit. So you cannot be allowed to do what is not inside the permit. You can't come there to cause trouble. You can't come there to cause anything. So there's appropriate language. You will use certain words, even if you're carrying placard, even if you're Print, printing anything like we said the uniform is black top because we are in a morning mode we are not celebrating we are being killed and massacred and we are about to be annihilated completely so we are mourning what will be the attitude of somebody that is about to be killed you will be crying so we are mourning and that's the picture we want to present to the world collectively so we have appropriate language one is that what is going on in Nigeria is ethno-religious killings. It's 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 not or oh, answers. It's not no no. Those ones are uh, um, 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 like they are just small small things. The major thing going on is the genocide that is going on. We need our people to understand the message. Share these videos so that our people will understand what the thing is all about. So if you are going there, you will have a clear mind why you are going there. What we intend to achieve with that. Is a genocide going on in Nigeria? It is not politics. It's genocide. Ethno-religious killings going on. Another thing is that the government of Nigeria is funding terrorism against the people. So let's not say who is funding it. For some people that say presidency, help us. Oh, the, oh, the person, help us. Your presidency is the one that is funding the terrorism. America told you that. 
America did investigation and came out and said that what is happening in Nigeria is that the Nigerian government, the current government, is funding terrorism against Nigerian people. As a result, that they will not support Nigeria again. They will not sell ammunition to Nigeria. They will not do this with Nigeria because this is what is going on. Another thing is who we are. Who are the people coming for this protest, this uh, uh, meeting, this event? We are the indigenous peoples living within Nigeria. We are trapped. Don't come there in your individual clans. Because like we said earlier on, you will confuse the international community. Come together under Ninas, Nigerian indigenous peoples. This is who we are. You are an indigenous person. You are living in your ancestral land. We have told you that 27, I mean 207, yeah, 2007, that United Nations brought out a proclamation for the indigenous peoples. And they say for you to approach UN to say, I want referendum. You say you have to be living on your ancestral land, answering your original name, your father's name. Is it difficult to answer your father's name? I was having a discussion with somebody a few days ago. I said, what is the name of the ancestral land you're living? He was running around, going in circle. I said, you see, you're not a truthful person. If you are living on Igbo land, say, my ancestral land is Igbo land. If it's Ijo, if it's Yoruba, if it's Shekiri, if it's Robo, that is your ancestral land. You are an indigenous person of that land. You are owner of the land. So you are the owner of the land that Nigeria, one Nigeria, is trying to steal. So we have come together, all of us that are indigenous, because there are people that are non-indigenous. The people killing us are not indigenous. They are outside, they're coming from outside, coming to kill us. So we that are living in the land have come together. So we come under that umbrella of Ninas. Don't come speaking your father, no, one language. One language. We are under Ninas. And what do we want? We want regional referendums. For what? For self-determination. It is no one referendum that we are talking about. We are saying that these blocks, these ethnic nationalities, we vote in block where they want to belong. Are we going to be inside this trap, this death trap, this union of death? Or are we going to charter another way for our people? It's very simple. So look at this language. You see what it's doing? So if you're doing any uh, 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 poster that you want to carry there, Please understand what your language is. We don't want to give us Biafra. Nobody's giving you Biafra. Because there's no Biafra that they have to give you. The language is simple. Very simple and straightforward. Understand it this way. And prepare your posters and whatever. If you carry something that is not, the people that are there, the, the people organizing it will not allow you into the space because you're not wearing the correct uniform. Sorry, can somebody else continue? Or should I go ahead? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so, I, can, I can go ahead. Uh, the appropriate behavior that you have to, you know, exhibit once you go there, you have to follow directives as stipulated by volunteers in the yellow vest. Uh, you also have to avoid unruly behaviors. This is not where you shout and cry, UN or you are come and see us. So you are already in front of UN. They are seeing you. So this is the time for you to tell them, this is what I want. No cry, cry. Uh, we wear black top. We have emphasized that already. The re reason why we are emphasizing on the black top is to make sure that, you know, uh, we show what the, the, the emotions will be written on the black top that we are wearing. That, hey, they are killing us. But it's not the time for you to wear one fashionista and dress anyhow and look more beautiful than those that have been killed. So you need to, you know, express that by wearing the black top. And it's general. Make sure there are no vulgar descriptions on your black top. Plain black top is good enough. Always stay with the crowd. Do not go to any corner that does not make sense. And call this number, 485-293-8937 for any other information that you need. It's important to get these numbers. Uh, if you all can, you know, just take a picture of this fine and get these numbers on your phone so that you can call. And if you have any questions, you ask. And somebody will be more than happy to help you with it. So let's let's be very civil because uh, we, we just have to be civil. We are there to tell them what we want, 
Now, it is what we want, not you and help us. No, we are going there to tell that we want referendum. And we are saying it in one language. So, our people, let us not get distracted. And you finally, can also visit the website, uh, the lower ninja congress.org slash donate. Yeah, you can click on that and uh, donate. Remember, people have invested their personal monies on these uh, uh, things. You understand? Asking you to donate now is not uh, is not like, you know, we are asking for too much. This is us telling you be part of it. Be part of your own liberation. That is what it's all about. Be part of those that will say, hey, I contributed to making this happen. And it's possible. So you go on that website and you click on donate. You know, any amount is, is not too small and nothing is too big. Just donate so that we can use part of this to make this a success. And it's already a success because guess what? A whole lot of us want that of that contraption. A whole lot of us want that of that contraption. Thank you, my people. Right, thank you. I see Sister Maureen says she will be there live. That's yeah. what we're talking about. <laughs> Sister Maureen is in Canada and she's making that. We have to do this. This is the this is our lifetime here that we are talking about. So whatever that you need to do, one day of your collecting your 12 hour pay is not gonna kill you. At you know, all. We want you guys to channel your energy and your money instead of using it to give to people that are calling themselves from Timbuktu to here and there. This person took it. You guys have been sending your money to the wrong wrong place. You've been channeling your monthly uh, appropriation to the wrong place. This is where you need to put your money for us to complete this journey. Sister Augusta said it right. While you guys were sleeping, playing in Makwanya, while you go chop your money, waiting to be a taxi driver and then because you're a coordinator now, you're the minister of uh, transportation. <laughs> Other people were busy doing work, paying, you know, working that extra shift putting it into the right place. Why you are buying uniform? Because in one I ever have a hazard uniform. Say mm -hmm. I saw the order from China and then and India. Mm -hmm. And they are wearing top, matching top when your people are dying. Save that money. Black t-shirt. Everybody want a black t-shirt. Give mm -hmm. us the money. Don't give it to Indians and then we will ask you for money. You don't have money. So wear t-shirt and jeans and show up. You already have t-shirt and jeans. For any extra design, send the money to slash <laughs> yes. We need to move. We cannot thank our brother enough that have been paying for this, as well as other sisters and brothers in the lower Niger working on this again while we are dancing, while we are dancing and chopping our money. And we thank every pastor, especially our pastor Obidi, that is here every day. I know he's doing the needful. I know every member of his uh, congregation know what's up. And I know they are not going there on midweek service to pray. They are going there to strategize. So we thank everyone doing the work that is needed. When we get this freedom, my dear, our God will see no one down about the children of God. We will then dance. That will be the time for dancing and praising. Mm -hmm. Right now is not a time or a morning. We are in morning. We need to get out of that place because Taliban is well loaded. They're already dancing in a club near themselves with their AK-47, and we don't want such. We are looking for a nation where our children will participate in the STEM program, science, te technology, engineering, and mathematics. That's what we are looking for, that we are busy. We need to go. We need to run. We have no time to waste. And then our sister, um, Ndoka Nabu said, Ninas is the only united front for all the indigenous peoples in both South and the Middle Belt of Nigeria to unite and stop the impending genocide taking place now. She went for that to say that a stitch in time saves Saves nine, nine. yeah. So we've said it all. Again, you can call in to add uh, to what we are doing. We are going to place that PowerPoint with the phone number on our page so that you will have the information to call. And then if you're home or somewhere else and you have a sister or a brother close to home, they have been busy following the wrong people or sleeping or working over time. Tell them to drop what they're doing and show up in New York next week. So everyone that is here, do what you can. If you can come, call a loved one, call your village member, call your cousin that you have not spoken to be in a while. Say, brother, I know we have not spoken. Please, you know, but this is important. We are suffering here in Nigeria. 
go and do this for us go and represent we need to do this for our people we need to do this go ahead sisters and i want to give a special shout out to some of my classmates that are promising to be there at the rally take pictures throw it on the platform because we are here we want this elites those that feel they can think we want you to be part of what the people are doing this is our job nobody's going to do it for us and remember the rally is a part of mobilization and enlightenment campaign you understand we have three phases sensitization mobilization and enforcement we are going to enforce our mind mandate eventually we will we promise you we will we're not going to continue here to speak english we tell you that what we are doing is to sensitize the whole people and we've been having this sensitization in phases we had it in the local areas we had it at the, the states we had it at the national. Now we are doing international sensitization, telling the whole world because we need them. There's another video that Sister Muna will play that will tell you your role you will play specifically, that we make the world know what they should do because they have a role to play. We are not waiting for them. We are leading. We are just telling them what to do as we do this because we are going to do this. We are doing it. And remember, that our target is referendums referendums we want to pull down the 1999 constitution that has that has been breeding death and injustice to us so we want to bring it down usually when you bring it down like people will say what will happen when you bring it down we say we don't want anarchy so there will be transitional governments and we need to decide the component members of that transitional government we will decide the mandate given to them because are, when you have a traditional government, it's not indefinite. There will be specific things that they need to do. You will give it to them. Then there's time frame. It's going, it's going to be from social time to social time. This is what you achieve while we settle other things. So everything is all planned out. It's not uh, chaos. It's not something you scratch the brain of your head and say, eh, I think Nina should do this. Eh, I think Nina should do this. No, the plan we are executing it one after the other. Like we told you, we are number six, uh, 15, 14, 15 combined in the 16 box strategy. We have 16 to go, but we are currently in the 14, 15. And what is going on underground? You can't even believe. We can't begin to tell you what is happening. What is going on seriously? Powerful people are keen into what is going on because it makes sense. It makes sense. So thank you. Keep doing the job. The people power. We are activating the people's power. We are talk to your church members, town union, everybody. It's time to do the job. Thank you. Thank you, sisters. Um, uh, so, so go ahead. It looks like you want to add something. Yes. Uh, so our uh, sister Equi has already said it all. Everybody be up and doing. Uh, let's get this thing out as soon as possible. New York, here we come. We need to make that noise, man. We just got to make that noise. So everybody, please be on board. Uh, be civil, be civil, be civil. We cannot overemphasize being civil. Uh, the reason why we're saying this is that we don't want to create an impression that will not make sense. And as, well, as I've said earlier, we're not going there to go and cry. We're just going there to go and tell them what we want, and that is referendum. So please, everybody, be up and going, and uh, let's let's get this done. Let's get this done. Thank you so much for joining us today. I will hope to see you all next week. Okay. Oh, uh, we have our last video. So we have our last, video. last video. Okay, yeah. To tell them what uh, specifically they need to do. Um, all right. Their role in what we're doing and what they need to do. We'll start from five uh, fifty second. Let's see. Ramona, have you found the video? I have the video. Okay. From 58 minutes, you mean? Yes. Sorry. those who will not be in New York physically to join us on the Nina's One Million Man Freedom March Mega Rally at the 76th 
edition of the United Nations General Assembly um, session and debate in year 2021. So um, we don't have to be in New York physically if you are outside the America, especially outside New York if you far. But there are a lot of uh, effective actions that, that we can all take wherever we are as long as you submit to um, Nina's procedure to our self-determination. I mean, we the southern people of Nigeria that have been terrorized, victimized, oppressed, and suppressed for too long. The Fulani government of Nigeria continue to promise on a daily basis that they will arrest and prosecute the Fulani headsmen, the Fulani um, terrorists, the Fulani bandits, the Mieti allies. None of these guys have been arrested. Even if they adventure to arrest any, none of them have been prosecuted. And these guys continue to maim, kill, terrorize, burn properties, you know, terminate lives of the southern people of Nigeria. We cannot continue to sit down and look and see this happen. So, under Ninas, we are going to have one million man freedom uh, mega rally in the United Nations headquarter building in Manhattan, New York, starting from 14th to 24th of September. It's just around the corner, five more six days, we are there. Uh, so what it are is some good of the things that they can be doing, you know, like in social exactly. media? Exactly. Well, it is good for those who have been raising anxiety. I and mean, we already have permits covering us for those days. We're going to shoot out the permit. So if you want to print it or have a copy to carry along, all good and well. Now, um, every week, okay, remember to join um, Nina Broker Saturday. But specifically, what you can do if you are not in New York, Okay, what everyone has to understand is uh, that Ninas continue to activate people's power. Mm -hmm. However, as you are probably seeing in the news, the Nigerian government has reacted to the fact that Ninas is bringing out the people of the Alliance territory from the Middle Belt to the South uh, part of Nigeria, meaning the Middle Belt people, the Yoruba people, as well as the and lower Niger people that constitute or that constituted by the South South and the South East people because they have so much hard and they are very, very fearful about this. Our one million man freedom march mega rally in New York. So therefore, Nigeria the government attracted to the fact that Nazi bring down all these people from the middle to bed to the United Nations offices to let the world know what is going on. And what is needed to change things around is what Nina has activated. Okay, um, we are very happy to have you here, and we'll talk about some of the things that everyone outside New York um, can do. Number one, every one of us can become a mobilizer of people, and mm -hmm. you can reach out to families, friends, you can reach out to colleagues, you can reach out to co worker you can reach out to acquaintances, your associates, etc., etc. To see that they are coming, and if they can, they can help to fund the event. Either they are coming or they are not coming. They can help to fund the event, okay? Number two, we need people to come to the event and participate as volunteers, to volunteer their time to support the event, and the people who will be coming from around the world to New York, especially non-New Yorkers like me. I am a New Yorker, okay? Number three, we need you all to mobilize the media. This is very, very important. We need everybody, whether you are coming to New York Mega Rally One Million Freedom March or not, to mobilize the media, your local area media, your state media, your nation or country media, whether you are based in Paris, France, Germany, Italy, everywhere, every country of the world, okay? We need you to mobilize the media by going to their offices, sending them emails, reaching them on Twitter, etc., and letting them know about the event and what Ninas is needing their help on to free our people. There are millions of jingles out there concerning this million mega rally. There are millions of um, um, flyers out there. Please take them, print them, forward them to all social media handles as well 
as uh, media houses, social media handles. Uh, uh, now, number four, we need you all to go to your churches and other worship places, okay, and give them the flyer and ask them to please join us with their banners and any financial assistance they can render. Five, we need you to reach out to your lawmakers, regardless of where you live in America, in North America, in United Kingdom, Great Britain, everywhere. We need you to specifically reach out to all your lawmakers via their email, their Twitter. We need you to call them to notify them about the situation, the ongoing situation in Nigeria, the genocide, the terrorism that is going on in Nigeria, and how they can help. How can they help? The lawmakers include the senators, your senators, your congressmen and women, your governors, your mayors, your prime ministers, etc. You can tell them about the genocide that is ongoing in Nigeria and the terrorism as well. And that this one million man freedom march event is coming up. And that you will like them to push to have peacekeeping forces sent to Nigeria to save our people. I cannot emphasize that enough. Please reach out to all the lawmakers in your various country, okay? To push to have peacekeeping forces sent to Nigeria to save the people of the South, the Lower Niger, the Yoruba, and the Middle Belt people that have been oppressed, oppressed, victimized, and terrorized by the Fulani government of Nigeria, the Fulani bandit, the Fulani terrorists, the Mieti Allah, and you know, all the Fulani headmen, okay? to save our people of the South, and that the lawmakers can also help to reach other nations and get them to stop providing loans to the federal government of Nigeria. They need to stop providing loans to the federal government of Nigeria. We need to, they need to stop selling arms and ammunition to the federal government of Nigeria. And we need all these your lawmakers in your various countries to start condemning the federal government of Nigeria for not protecting the people of the South and for failing to take action against those who are committing this genocide. And most importantly, you need to tell all your um, lawmakers to help in the international diplomatic world to stop, refuse, rescind, retract, cancel the already issued visas to top Nigerian government officials and their entire family member. You need to tell them to expose all their international bank accounts in international currencies and to seize all the money. Most importantly, um, Paris Club, China country, United States of America, France, Great Britain, they need to stop giving loans to Nigeria government, the full army government of Nigeria, because they in return use this loan to buy arms and ammunition. Eh? Not only they will use it to develop a uh, naval base in their uh, neck of the woods. So our brother here um, did a good job. This thing. Ev Evangelist did they, The guy is hot. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, he, he was able to like express everything that we have been saying. So for those that have ears, because remove that your wool in your ear and listen to everything that he has said. That's the nice thing that our brother wrote here. Sorry, should I go ahead? Our brother yeah. Steve Osage, he said, good news yeah. is that Ireland is presiding over the 76th Union Assembly and they're up to date with happenings in Nigeria. In fact, well informed. You see, there's so much we can do, especially those of you living in diaspora. We don't want you to go and gather yourself and eating rice and taking video shows. That's not what you should be doing. Mm -mm. Be like what our brother just said uh, in the video that we just played. You have so much to do. And there's so much work to do. And as we speak, some of our governors are understanding what we're saying and on the ground they're beginning it beginning to enter their ears that this is what we need to do but if you keep making noise killing them burning their vehicles they, you'll be distracting them please beg these people these gangs the gangsters 
that have eaten money and are crying every day on social media about the money that they have eaten and the one that is talking <laughs> them to get off our way. We have work to do. In the days ahead, there's an important meeting that we will not announce right now, do, happening in some places that we are aware, but we're not announcing it, but it's going on. But you, you cannot continue to distract Ninas. Ninas, like Kodesa, is out to work and results are coming in. We are not even playing. No one is playing. The people are doing what they should do. Please, we want more synergy. We want more information because I don't want to synergize with someone that is ignorant. What synergy am I forming with you when you don't know your left from your right? That's why you must be informed. Please be rightfully informed. Get the right information. Understand what our right is doing, what our right is, what we are doing with it, how we are exercising it, so that you will not be delaying us with your ignorance and scattering what we are trying to build. I beg you. Awesome. Our God is good. Every day, God will show us reasons why we will not be in that country called Nigeria. Can you ever just listen to this one minute video? Uh, these are the people that are ruling you guys. These are the criminals. It's like, I don't even know how to describe. We, we could have done better if two year olds are in charge than these so called overgrown criminals. Listen to this. Oh, I turned it off. That will listen to the words of wisdom. I will listen and think as a true Nigerian. The best for them is to lay their hands. It is the only way that we can move forward. But as a professional soldier, we will continue to do what we know best mm -hmm. doing, and that is to continue to project our effort, what effort? in a more than determined effort. More AK for the we seven. continue to do that we will not be distracted by some of the activities of our detractors by the activities of some of the collaborators. <laughs> Nigeria deserves peace. North East deserves peace. Yeah, right. The people of Bono deserve peace. Yes. Because it is only when there is peace there will be development. And it is time now. And that is why I kept it up. That there is time for everything. If we have been in times of difficulties for over eight years, it is time now for us to celebrate peace. For everyone, you need to come on board. Boko Haram should lay their arms unconditionally and be accepted in the community. Yes. Opportunities are out there for them. Yes. They can be rehabilitated. Uh -huh. And ex-Boko Haram stands having laid his arms and comes back, turns his way away from the, his negativity. He stands to be a president of this country. He stands to aspire to any position in this country. Yeah. So that's the thing I wanted you guys to get. You know, these are the same people. They will start driving their car and then they will jump into the evil forest. That the Boko Haram will be your president if they lay their arms. And our brothers and sisters and sleep decide. No, Boko universe. Haram is already their president. Buari <laughs> is the patron saint of uh, Boko Haram. Mm -hmm. Is the is the general overseer that the geo of Boko Haram is a Boko Haramist. So Boko Haram is already a president. So what is just is just trying to let us know that you know there could be any new Boko Haram from anywhere. Look at you catch a Boko Haramist and you tell us that you have rehabilitated him. You now put him back in the army, and when the army. But the, those from the southern part of Nigeria that are army that are in the army are killing Boko Haram. Your so-called brother that you rehabilitated will get them killed. So what are we talking about? So the Boko Haram is, is Buhari Gongo Gongo is the general overseer of That's the Boko good, Haram. So the Boko Haram is, he's already That's a president. He's the general overseer, right? So anyway, so they already have the loophole on how to come in. I wanted to just share this information because I know our people sometimes they struggle with all this online stuff. So our brother mentioned earlier that you should contact your senator and contact your representative. And here is your website for the senators. Uh, if you type in www.senate.gov. Oh, by the way, this is for those of us in US. And I'm equally confident that you should be able, if you're somewhere in that spot, you know, you should be able to type in how to contact your senators and your representative and you, you, you should populate. 
Um, the goodness of all of this is that they have a way you can reach them by phone, you can reach them by email, you can reach them by an appointment and show up in person. So there are so many ways that you can reach. And by the way, if you are here in the U.S., if you are a donor, at least hundred dollars and above, you get you know not that everybody is listening to, but if you are donating to the campaign calls and all those things, hundred dollars and above, you get a special uh, attention. Uh, so that's another way to go about it, you know. So here is the www.senate.gov. And for the House of Represent uh, Representatives, we have www.house.gov. Uh, so get to work. If you're not going to be in New York, you can email your congressman. You can call them. You can go by appointment. If you're not going to be in New York, I'd rather say that you can donate to the cause. We're going to post that website on our page. Do what you can. Don't sit at home. If you cannot come, do, do something. Do something. We are about to get our freedom then you must be part of it. You know, don't sit around and wait for other people to do it for you or you'll be emotional when a, a real franchise is mentioned because you've lost all your money. We need to start all over. We need to cut our losses. It is what it is. We are taking for the ride. If I begin to tell you guys the amount of money I put into that mess, you will not believe. But that's not where we're going right now. We just need to turn corners and get to where we are going and do what we got to do. Uh, we're almost at the end of the tunnel. So do your part, do your part. So we are going to be ending soon. Uh, we thank those that participated in our questions and uh, uh, what is it called, interactive section today. We thank you guys and those that posted. As always, help us to share. You can see there is uh, an undertaking here against us to make sure that our news does not get to our people because they know this is the only show that is teaching our people something if i take off my clothes now and begin to shake my bum bum you will see one million people watching so we are, we have come of age we need to do better as they are fighting us with their social media we can use word of mouth our mothers did it in 1920 20, 29. 29. 29. 29. 1929. There was no internet. There was no social media. There, there was, was no internet. Thing. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Convene and, and, and send a strong message to the colonial masters. So how much more now that we have access? So please help us to share this information. If you want to gather your people so that we can explain all of this to them, we are readily available to do so. Let us know in advance and we will show up and show out. So thank you guys. Uh, our brother here, Emmanuel, says, "Good job, daughters of Zion." <laughs> thank you, Emmanuel, and uh, Pastor B. They continue the good job right now. Very soon, we are going to don you. We can't give you that the geo. They have bastards. <laughs> you know, the criminals. We need to come up with a better word for our pastor <laughs> or DJ that is using his platform to teach people what's up, because that's what we need to do to get where we're going. So. It's been a wonderful weekend uh, uh, mm. um, day, actually. So join us uh, with the morning memorial service for the 9-11. It should be everyone, the social media, and help us to share that video that we played where our brother was talking about expectations during the uh, rally is also on YouTube. Uh, we'll post it on our Facebook. So go and learn, you know. Um, and then a lot of our people are asking, how can we get these things on radio? Um, for to get to more people, especially back home, because data is a problem. Um, contact us directly, and then we'll, we can have further discussion on that. You know, we want this information to get our people. So, however way you can get a word of mouth, you know, take you to the fasting and pray, because that's where they get on ways they show up with your information and begin to pass them uh, uh, the information. Our brother mentioned that you can send flyers, you know flyers in support of what is being done that day and they have already mm -hmm. given the flyers all you have to do is to print that flyer and share um anything else sisters before we call it a day so we thank you guys viewers for joining us uh we just want to thank all of our people that tuned in today and for our sister maureen okoron she said she'll be there live yeah that's the spirit that's the spirit so uh, as you have been there like call all of your parako people to you know also be there you know, our brother Steve Osahi said the good news is that Ireland is okay. We already said that. So that's beautiful. So just want to thank our people, you know, for all that you have, you know, th thank God that people are beginning to tune in. You know, the distraction has gone. The distraction has gone and people are beginning to ask pertinent questions. 
most people were like, oh, so there's something like this. Why didn't we know about it? Now that you know about it, come in. Come in. There's so much work to be done. All hands has to be on deck. It is not mine alone. It is not Sister Quiz alone. It's not Sister Mona's alone. All hands has to be on deck. And it's not Brother Sydney alone. We have a brother that's always doing our cartoon character very beautifully. So or if you know what part of work that you can do to help us propagate this message, come on board. If your own is a kure cool, if your own is storytelling, come on board. If your own is to clap and dance and it will resonate with our people and they'll get the messages, come on board. If your own is to carry a girl and sing in a girl platform or, or format, please come on board. We are asking everybody to come on board. If your own is, no matter what you can do to get this message going, come on board. And guess what? As Sister A.P. rightly said, some of our uh, governors are beginning to tune in because the, we told you that noise affected all of them. So some of them are beginning to tune in into what is, you know, the real deal. And you know, honestly, I'm sure that they're, they're, they're going to like come on board because they do not have a choice. Guess what? Just because they are trying to get the VAT for themselves, you saw what the Fulanis are doing. Now they want to put the VAT in exclusive list. Vato, they will tell you not to drink or go. When you when you buy beer and take it to Kano, they will destroy your beer. Yeah, they will collect VAT from you to take care of Kano. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? They don't want alcohol. They don't want money. They don't. Want, there are things that they don't want that you cannot live without. Oh, you know, you know that I mean. And yet, they, whatever you pay to enjoy that part of your life, they also want to get you know money from it. And yet, they are Aramists. Ordinary that you saw them trying to push that thing to exclusive list. And we have been telling that it is because. These people understand that all these things are in the exclusive list. That is how they have held us for several years. No light, no water. You can't do any business. That go take no, uh, number one, the, the billionaire in, a, in, 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 a, in the entire of Africa. The commonwealth of an entire nation is in the hands of one person. And you cannot do anything about it. Because everything is written on that exclusive list. The governor of Lagos recently signed a uh, anti-grazing bill and the VAT bill or whatever. You see what they told him? You see what they told him? So we are telling our people that it is the constitution, no more, no less. And not until this thing comes down. We are just talking in, in parables. So everybody, whatever talent you have, bring it on board. We, don't, we, we need more people. No number of people is enough to get this message out. We need more people. So thank you all for listening. And, you know, all the things will be streamed live, you know, as the events are, uh, you know, going on. So we are hoping that we'll, a lot more people will be out there so that these messages will be out there. Thank you all for tuning in today. I hope to see you all next week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sisters. Oh, should I come in? Okay. So as final word, our target for the million match is not one million, it's five million. So please, we want everyone to get there so that we can make a statement. And remember, there's appropriate behavior and there's appropriate language. There are days of marching and there are days of just rally that will visit uh, the, the square. All those programs that are on our website, we have uh, uploaded them and is in the, some of the videos. So please, if you are confused, Contact Doctors of Truth will guide you on where to go. We have a number that we have there. Send a text there. And please remember not to be alone. Don't go alone. There's security. You know, it's UN. So there's security. Anybody threatening you that they will come and catch people and be they, they, that's not possible. That can only happen to you if you move out of the people and go by the side by yourself. That's why I say if we need you need to get something from your car, make sure you go with someone or you give your phone number to people that you are with that in case they don't find you so so time they will know what to call call 911 the police will be there and we have the permit so nothing to fear at all is a we want to showcase who we are we are not killers we are very responsible people we are people that love law we love um, uh, um equity we love justice we love fairness anything good that's what we represent and that's what we're going to showcase to the world that day and then the world will know 
that we are not the troublemakers. The troublemakers are very few and they will help us to quarantine the troublemakers. Quarantine, we want, there are few, there are less in percentage. Since there are wild donkeys, wilding everywhere, and clean everybody everywhere, we want to quarantine them like cancer. When we quarantine them, we will know what to do with cancer that they quarantine. So we want the whole world, speak to your people where you live. This is not time for noise, it's not time for shout, it's brain work. Develop your brain. Remember we did a program here, we said, anything that is clean your brain, stop eating it, stop drink, eat, drinking it. We want your brain to be sharp. Because these nations that we're going to build, it will be fast, to be fast. And you'll be part of it. You need to be alive to be part of it. Can you imagine an Africa with the type of nations we are talking about that will be emerging? Can you imagine what will happen? So you see, all your trouble is already solved here just for you to key in into what we're doing. And you know what? This template, they will use it in other parts of Africa where there's war and all those chaos going on. They will learn from how we solve our problem. They will solve that problem and the world will be a better place. So we have so much to offer the world and we are ready to do it. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you, brothers and sisters. See you guys next week. Bye-bye. Help us to share, follow, and like. Bye.